YouTube, what is going on? This is iTalk. You like it? Here, and in today's video, we have a brand new video. So today we're gonna be talking about my favorite exclusive skins from chapter one. The reason why I like how the game kind of split itself from chapter one to chapter two is that now this video will never be outdated. If there's any exclusives that come out during chapter two, they won't fit on this list because they didn't come out in chapter one. So there's a ton of ranking videos I could do with just having it split by chapters now. So chapter one can be, oh, the best battle passes of chapter one, the best skins of chapter one. There's so many different lists I could do. But today I wanted to talk about exclusive skins and there's 15 of them that I I counted personally and I'm not counting the PS plus skins there would just be too many to put on the list with that I'm talking about the twitch prime skins the console exclusives I'm talking about a whole bunch of different things here so we're talking about 15 skins today and I just wanted to rank them from worst to best my personal list of my favorite exclusives from chapter one so let's just get right into it so at number 15 sub commander one of my least favorite skins of all time this was a twitch prime one pack I just don't like it. The blonde hair with the purple and black just does not fit in my personal opinion. I do not like that color scheme whatsoever. He looks super dorky. It's a skin I never ran. If anything, I always ran the Havoc skin, which is also part of this pack. I ran that a ton more than I ran this skin. I flat out did not like the skin whatsoever, and that's why it comes in here at number 15. At number 14, we have the Neo Versa skin. So this one is actually pretty low on the list and it might shock you guys because this is actually a pretty recent skin. I just found this one lazy. I found this one to be just a really boring exclusive skin. When I was going through like the list of exclusive skins that weren't PS Plus, right? I thought this was a PS Plus skin. I'm like, oh yeah, that was one that came out for PS Plus, right? Actually, no, it comes out with controllers, with consoles and I'm like, this does that's so strange and it doesn't help the fact that it's very popular it's very out there there's a ton of codes for this skin not saying that that bothers me but i like wearing skins that not a ton of people wear because it makes me feel unique when i play the game i don't want to be running around wearing the exact same thing that everyone else wears and neo versa is so common that it's just a skin i never wear and i like i just said i thought this was a PS Plus skin that you got for just having PS Plus and you got a skin for free. That's what I thought this skin was because it just looks so plain to me. I'm just not a fan of this one. That's why it comes in here at number 14. At number 13, we have Havoc. Here you go. Here's the other Twitch Prime Pack skin. I don't run him at all. He's very unique. I will give him that. Like he's like a Raptor onesie kind of combination, I guess you could say, because he's got like all the camo on. It just reminds me a lot of season three and that's all fine and dandy, but it's just a skin I don't wear ever. Uh, the back bling backup plan isn't terrible, but I just don't run this skin whatsoever. But I like it more than Sub Commander, and I do like it more than Neo Versa, and that's why I'm going to put it here at number 13. At number 12, we have Trailblazer, another Twitch Prime Pack skin. This is Twitch Prime Pack number 2, and this one is also very decent. I like this one a little bit. I don't run it at all, but I like the look of this one. It's very military-esque. The emote that comes with this pack, by the way, freestyling, very underrated. Don't see anyone running that. Same with the back bling which looks really good on a few skins. And also, the harvesting tool is also very good as well. Don't see many people running that either. Trailblazer is a skin I don't even see many people running. I know a lot of people have it because Twitch Prime Pack 2 came out during the peak of Fortnite. But still, it's a skin that I just never run. And if I don't run a skin, that most likely means I don't like it. However, because I now have over 600 skins in the game, it's kind of hard for me to pick and choose which skins I like to run. So that's why, yes, that comes in here at number 12. At number 11, we have the Rogue Spider Knight. I remember when me and Pizzo first got these, and these were like the only available because the only way you could get this skin is through buying a console at the time. You couldn't even get it on Amazon. You had to get it from local retailers, and then it became available online, and now codes for it are very cheap. They're like $30.00 for a legendary skin that comes with 2,000 V-Bucks and it comes with three edit styles on the skin and the back bling, that's pretty amazing. And what's cool about this skin is that someone pointed this out to me on Twitter, I completely forgot the name, I apologize. But the different styles of Spider Knight is actually representative of all the different kinds of Xboxes. The original style that you get with it is the Xbox 360, then you have one for the Xbox, and then you have one for the Xbox One X, which I think is really cool that they have this sort of feature with this skin. My main issue, I think, with it is that it's a Spider Knight recolor. It's like, why Spider Knight? Out of all the skins you could recolor, Spider Knight is one that I just do not understand the reasoning behind. 
and Spider Knight to me is just not that great of a skin regardless either and it was really hype back then because it looked like Black Knight but now we have you know Ultimate Knight which looks like Black Knight even more now I don't know I found this one to be very strange out of all the skins they could have picked I guess Spider Knight was the one that are like yeah we're gonna do that one fine I guess but that's why it comes in here at number 11. At number 10, we have the Dark Vertex, another Xbox exclusive console bundle that I actually do very much enjoy. I love the dark purple, and I like the harvesting tool, the, the gliders, eh, and I like the skin a lot. I love how bright the white is on the skin, like dark purple and bright white actually looks really good with him. My only issue is that I'm not a fan of Vertex. Vertex is a skin I'm just not that big of a fan of, and... Just because he changed the color on it doesn't really necessarily mean I'm going to enjoy the skin any more than I would have with the orange vertex, but I still love the color scheme going on here, and I really do actually like this one. It's still better than the ones I listed before, so that's why it comes in here at number 10. At number 9, we have Galaxy. This one is easily the most flashy exclusive skin we have here on this list. Galaxy is a fantastic skin in my opinion. I don't run him often, reason being... It's way too bright, and it's way too flash. People could see you from a mile away, but this was like the big exclusive skin at the time, and everyone loved this skin. I remember when this was popping on YouTube, how to get the Galaxy skin, what to do to get it, can you do the store method? Like, there was a ton of videos around the Galaxy skin, and for good reason. It's very flashy, very crazy colors. Like, the harvesting tool is fantastic. The back bling, fantastic. The skin itself, though, I'm talking about just the skin here. I don't see myself running it that much because it's just too bright, too flashy. It gives away your position way too often. So that is why it's all the way here at number nine. At number eight, we have Double Helix. Easily one of the hardest exclusive skins to get is at number eight here. I'm not a fan of Archetype. I've made this very clear. I think Archetype is a very unique design. The green and black is also very cool, but just something about the skin just made me not enjoy it as much as others did, maybe because it was just so popular back then. But at the same time, Double Helix is very unique in the sense that it's very hard to obtain because you have to have a Nintendo Switch to even redeem this skin. But not only all of that, there's so many different things I talked about in my most expensive skin video. I'll leave a link on the screen right here to check out that video. There's so many reasons as to why this was the most exclusive and the most difficult skin to obtain. I think now you can get it through some sort of Korean switch method but the fact that this was the only Nintendo switch exclusive and the fact that it was a third-party game for Nintendo so it was very scarce right away to begin with Nintendo switches were very hard to come by back then they didn't sell a ton of consoles for the Nintendo switch so it was very very scarce to get legitimately and yeah I just I like it it's just I'm not the biggest fan of the archetype set it's just how I am with it and it's really just a flex skin as being probably the most exclusive exclusive that we have here on this list but that's why it comes in here at number eight and number seven we have glow i really like the glow skin i love how unique the outfit looks it's a fate reskin i am aware of that i just love the color of it it's so prismatic it's so holographic i used to be a huge fan of like pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and getting those holographic cards to where you can like like move the card back and forth to like see how cool the holographic is Glow did it for me. Glow was a fantastic skin, still is to this day. It was probably the easiest exclusive to get because you had 25 different Android devices that gave you the Glow skin. So that was super easy to get. I guess my only issue with it was that it, again, it's just a Fate reskin. It wasn't super duper unique in any way, really. But I still love the color. Like, the color made it what it is today. The color made it really good. And the emote itself isn't great. It has a built-in emote. And yeah, I think it's all right. But besides that, that's why it actually comes in here at number seven. At number six, we have Wonder. I am a sucker for Evelyn skins, Power Cord, my favorite skin of all time. Obviously, I'm going to like Wonder because it is a different colored Shadow Ops. And I think just how vibrant the colors are and the way you were to get this skin really appeals to me the way you got this skin was from a honor 20 phone i believe and those are only phones in the uk very hard to obtain it's actually a skin that i really do enjoy running from time to time it matches so well with like the galaxy back bling the dark vertex harvesting tool like you can flat out run an exclusive combo with the wonder skin and it's just it matches so well with all these skins and I really do enjoy it. I was really hesitant at first because it's like, it just looks kind of eh. But when you see it in game, I actually think it's really cool. That's why it comes in here at number six. At number five, we have Honor Guard. I've said before, I really don't like lazy reskins. And Honor Guard is just a blue overtaker. But the blue 
looks so good. The whole fact that this skin was taken from people like twice because there was some loopholes that were found on how to get multiple honor guards and everyone on Twitter, everyone was just giving away honor guard codes. Like the honor guard has so much history behind it. That's why it's so high on this list. And not only that, I love running it. It's one of my personal favorite skins to run in general, not even just exclusive skins. I love the blue. The blue looks so, 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 so good on the white porcelain overtaker that I think this, this is a really good skin in my opinion and I want to put it here at number five. And number four, we have Eon. It's another, it's another reskin, it's a Criterion, but again, the colors are so unique. It's fantastic in my opinion. There wasn't much going on with it though. Like you didn't get a back bling. You did get a cool harvesting tool, which is just a reskin Omega pickaxe. You also had a reskin Omega glider. But besides all that, I think this skin was actually really cool. And I think this was like the second biggest exclusive skin at the time. If I had to guess, Eon, I think was really hyped up back then. And I think it's actually very cool. And that's why it comes in here at number four. And number three, we have Stealth Reflex. I'm just going to come out and say, I like the original Reflex more. I think the original Reflex has better colors than the Stealth Reflex. We've seen red and black before. Yes, I love that color scheme, but the fact that the Reflex skin was done the way it was dealt, I really am surprised that we got a separate skin for this and not an edit style. But regardless, Stealth Reflex is one of the most aggressive skins in the game, and it's one of the coolest looking skins in the game in my personal opinion. I made a video talking about the whole counterattack set and what happened to it. Definitely check out that video as well. I go really in depth with how basically the Reflex skin came out into the item shop for two days and then people were like well that wasn't that supposed to be an exclusive skin which they have stated that it was an exclusive skin but then they had to resell a exclusive version of the skin if you had the original reflex it was a very strange story but yes i do think that the stealth reflex is amazing it's aggressive but i do like the original reflex more that's just my personal opinion i think the colors are very unique with reflex but stealth reflex red and black it's been done before it's still a good skin though in my opinion that's why it comes in here at number three at number two, we have the Royal Bomber. I might be one of the only people that actually like Royal Bomber. I love the uniqueness to this outfit. Royal Bomber is a clean skin. It is kind of like a Raptor ripoff, but with like the glasses and the beret, he looks so cool. I love it. Uh, me personally, I love this look for Raptor. The blue is so striking. The badges on his chest and like the pants and he just looks like a pilot. It looks really cool. And I love this skin. It's one that I like to run a lot and not many people have this skin it seems like, but still I like running it. Even if a ton of people had it, I would probably still run it a lot anyway. And that's why it comes in here at number two. And at number one, my favorite exclusive skin of all time is iconic i think it's a very good skin the red and black is amazing the microphone is really cool the emote scenario is so iconic get it that i had to put this at number one i love this skin i know a lot of people have it i know this is a very common exclusive skin but if i'm being honest with myself iconic is still fantastic i love power cord for the sense that it's like a rocker chick and this dude's like a male singer i can't go wrong with this one i think iconic is so good and i wish everyone could get it to get the skin you had to have an s10 s10e or s10 plus android device which i ended up buying an s10e because i wanted this skin so bad and i like this skin a lot man it's so good i don't think that putting this at number one is doing any of the other exclusives a disservice because i think they're all good in their own way i've said this before i think every skin in fortnite fits its own niche and for exclusive skins, they fit the niche of you have to do something a little bit different in order to get these skins. These aren't item shop skins. These are skins that you have to obtain through different methods and different ways. And yeah, I think exclusive skins are fantastic. They're some of my most favorite skins in the game. And yeah, that's my list for worst to best exclusive skins in Fortnite. And I want to know, what do you guys think about it? What is your most favorite exclusive skin? I would love to know. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know the like, but only if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. And turn on the bell, just go to my latest uploads and comment down below. What are your opinions of what I talked about today? What is your favorite and your least favorite exclusive skin from Chapter 1? Follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite. Follow me on Instagram, I can talk Fortnite. And if you'd like to use me for support a creator, my code is iTalkFortnite. Thank you all so much that you use that code. Seriously, it really does help me out a ton. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. See ya.